Okay, welcome back everybody. This is Dak O'Neill from Team Jack Wagon Racing. We are at Summer Summit Point Raceway, race number two. I am going to be starting this race on f in fifth position. I did not qualify, so it's based on my eye rating at the Jefferson Reverse Course. Alright, so here we go. Um, on the pit road here, or I'm on the, uh, the starting grid. Looks like uh, a lot of people are slow to get out here. There are 12 cars in this race. I need to finish better than 6th to gain I rating, which is my goal. Additionally, I also want to be as safe as possible, so I'm going to try to not take risks. Uh, sometimes I do get racy if somebody's around me, and I can't help myself. The competitive juice flows. If you watched the last race, I got destroyed by a car that came back onto the track on lap 1, and that just really killed it for me. Um, I'm hoping to have a much better race this time, especially if, okay, third place didn't show up, so I will be able to power through here. Let's just not jump the start. Green flag. Green flag. 20, 20 laps to go. All right, not bad. Let's make sure that we get through turn one okay. He knows I'm inside of him. I'm on my brakes. Back on, okay, first. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Keep coming. It's a hell of a checkup, it was unnecessary. Not the way I wanted to start my race. Once again, I get a 4X. I probably have some pretty severe front end damage. My car's still driving okay. You just never know. Right side. Still there. What's this guy doing? Clear. I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to get us killed. Get on it. That's Put it on it, bud. Get it. Still there. Clear. Alright, there we go. Now we're out in front. Yeah, sorry about that, Daryl, but he was way off. I didn't expect you to slam it on. Okay, now I just need to drive nice and easy. And drive away with this one. Especially if it's the way he took this corner is any indication of the race. I should have a sizable lead now after this turn. Unless he starts watching me take it and it gets better. Which happens quite a bit with lapsed cars. I gotta make sure that... There's no reason for me to push that hard. I already have a two and a half second lead. I have to make sure since that track, that turn is so off camber. But if you don't wait until your car New leader. is New Well done, out, my man. Well done. You're just going to lose it. So. Now just nice smooth laps, and I got this one in the bag. I hate this course, so if I get a win here, that would be a big deal. Just to go over my setup for you guys, I'm, I'm recording the, the middle monitor. I have a three-monitor setup. 28-inch, 19, 20 by 1,200 which is a 16 to 10 ratio, which really needs to come back. It, it is the ratio to go through for, to, for gaming. You'll see a lot more on the screen. You know, 16 to 9 is great for movies and things like that, but for gaming, it's just... Or, or pretty much anything. I mean, even being a web, web page, writing your code, you just see so much more on the screen. I mainly use my PC for game development, but I also made it obviously to test and play games, that both that I make and commercial games. So my PC is very robust. I have two top-of-the-line ATI cards with 8 gigabytes of RAM each so that they work better together in Crossfire. Since that halves the RAM usage, they, they each are using 4 gigabytes instead of just getting the standard 4 gig thick. Ah, I can't speak today. 4 gigabyte cards, which only give you about 2 gigabytes on each card. And that really is a bottleneck in today's games. So I just need to make sure that I keep up the good work here. I'll be fine. Manage the tires. Don't have to drive the car. Any 
anybody that is fast is buried behind those guys, so good luck passing them. And then once again, just wait till we're clearly on the rollout before we clear it to the power. That's all I have to do. I didn't expect this to be such a weak field. Um, all the other races I, I raced, I started from the pits thinking, oh, I can just drive right through. I was able to do it on the Summit Point course. But the last couple splits I was in had some really good drivers, so that didn't happen. And then one of the splits I did do, I drove through most of the field, and then I self-spun and lost it all at the last lap, so just have to make sure that I keep my head in the game. Also, as far as my wheel goes, I use a G25 Fanatic version 2 Club Sport pedals. Absolutely love them. The load brake, load cell brake. There's nothing else like it. I'm just taking it easy, as you can see. I would try probably considerably harder if I had somebody near me. No, I just want to keep it on the track. I've had a lot of incidents there. I really, really want to get a V license in road. Road is not my best discipline. I'm more of an Indy Oval driver, and I'm definitely going to be doing the winter Indy series. And you'll see that in both road and oval. My goal is to be you know, middle of the pack on the road, but absolutely win all of the oval races that I can. And I think that since I got serious about practicing and doing everything that I can, that I can get there. Last week I won seven times at Vegas and my splits. Um, really feel like I won a lot more than that because I got crashed out a whole bunch of times by other people and my own mistakes but I definitely had the pace to be there. Okay. So I have a about nine second gap right now to second place. So this is gonna be a fairly uneventful race I hope. Um, the magic number is ten. If you get a ten second gap then you can pretty much make a mistake and still win. Of course I don't want to make any mistakes but it's nice to have that margin, just in case. And it looks like it's going to be a while before I run into any traffic, barring somebody coming out of the pits in front of me, so that's really good. Because that's the other wild card. I mean, I, I rating does a good job with their safety system and trying to make sure that people are respectful. But this week you have everybody from rookies to pros racing in the week 13 races. So you just, you never know what, how the next guy's going to be. I've raised some guys that are brand new to the service and amazing, great racers, we're lucky to have them. And then there's other people that probably will, fortunately, never get out a rookie. And I'm not saying that I'm this great racer because I'm the road I am. I'm below average, for sure. But I definitely want to work on my skills. I do well in the single-seaters. I uh, raced a lot of Storm Mazda this season. Just getting back into it. I've had an account for four years. But it's, one, it's always been one of those things where I pick up the wheel for a week or two and then put it down and do something else. This time the bug really bit me and I uh, went out and made my own cockpit of uh, MDF fiber and it's really nice. I've got my triple screen set up and uh, I have it set up that these monitors will plug into my development PC whenever I want to race. So I can use it for work with the three screens on the desk or switch over to this dedicated cockpit and these screens. So I really like that. What I really want though, I, since I'm using my G25, this G25 is old. I got it at a uh, garage sale about four years ago when I got my account. Um, I mean, it still works. I, I like it. But one of the buttons no longer functions. I went in there, and it must be a problem with the board itself because I even resoldered it. I really want to get one of the Club Sport wheels now, the Club Sport V2 base with a Formula rim, since I mostly drive Formula cars. That would really, really be awesome. Plus, with an Indy car, having all those buttons to do like a weight jacker on the fly would be just sweet. So, definitely going to look into that. Spin myself here. 
pushing harder. It's one of those things when you get into a rhythm, you try to go slow, all of a sudden you're just giving it a little, a little bit too much. So now I got 12 seconds on that guy behind me. It's pretty comfortable. And I'm in no way running fast laps right now. If you want to be competitive in most of the splits I've been in, you have to run 57s and 56s. I can run 57s. I, I don't think I have it in me with the baseline setup I'm using to run 56s. Plus, I mean, I'm not perfect at it. Oh, oh, no! Oh, come on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Yeah, that's, that's uh, not what we wanted, but that's why we have the gap. So it's only down to 8.5. But now I've let this uh, lapped car think that he can get his lap back, so that's a problem. He's going to race me. Just have to put some distance on us. Rock, I'll let you buy on the next straight. Don't do it in the corner, I'll give it to you off the straight. Good job, bud. Time to go. This time, bye. <laughs> Be careful, don't do that. Hand him through there, big girl. Rod Joe! Okay, we did, didn't need that. Let's get this together. Alright, uh, down to five seconds. Really, really screwed up. So, just need to keep it together and get past this guy. That On your good. right. Clear. Right. Much better. Okay. You know, it's it's scary how just one bad turn can set you up for everything because now you're out of your rhythm. And there was no reason for me to do that at all in either turn. I mean, I'm certainly not threatened by him as a back marker. So, and I gave him his lap back, so. seven seconds back, so I'm going to lead back out. I feel bad about this. This is kind of like playing in JV, because I'm obviously right now, as you can see, I'm not driving very well. I'm not that, I'm not paying all that much attention to it, and I'm going to run away with this. So. You almost feel bad about that, but all you can do is win the races that you're put into or do as well as you can in them. People say it's who you beat, but really, I, mean, I, I had to show up. This is this is what I got. The last race, I was number twenty. not as immersion. Uh, it's, not, it's probably not a, as great of an experience for the viewers as it's going to be when we get into the single seaters and you can see almost everything. I mean, aside from looking for apexes in a single seater car, you're pretty much mainly looking at your center monitor the whole time unless of these next two or something like that. Alright, so now I've got 10.6. Looks like they're having a nice little battle back there. Spot's gone back and forth a couple times. I don't know if it's a mistake or just people doing wrong. Well. A little off track there. And that's another thing I really need to work on for myself. If the car in front of me, if I'm following them closely and their line goes off, chances are my corner shot too. And that's just something I need to practice. Not looking at them as much. Because you don't want to hit them, but it does happen. And 
that's the other thing, like I said, on the first lap, when you get behind somebody that's that slow and you're expecting them to be faster and their braking points are much, much earlier than, than the correct line, it's very scary because you just don't know what you're going to do. Five laps to go right now. Really want to do. It doesn't gain you a whole lot. Conversely, if you have a terrible race, it actually hurts you a lot more. It's only a few corners. And I had pretty much a terrible race, safety rating wise. So. That's the second race in a row that I've had a 4X before the end of the first turn. Last race, we had a car that actually flipped upside down in front of us, and it was just a big one car in the middle of the track, and everybody accordion right into it. Five to go. Oh wow, looks like everyone behind me spun out or did something, because now they're 20 seconds back. Oh, Ryan just disconnected. That's so unfortunate. We hate that. I mean, unless you're behind. Oh, oh. Just dumb. Alright, get in that groove now. Absolutely no reason for that. Hopefully, Daryl just pulled onto the track. I'm a little bit weary of him because of our contact on lap one. That might make this an interesting video. I hope he doesn't intentionally wreck me. That's his. That's his intention. I have seven. These lampers out of the way, Earl. Rajo. Take it super easy. I don't even really want to get close to him and give him a chance to think about it. Somebody spins off the track, and then hopefully he'll learn that. I can't tell. I can't see if he has a rookie strike or not. But it's best if they're already off the track. Absolutely done it. Do not stop. That way you will hopefully get by them before they decide to come back onto the track, because I swear that's probably how most incidents happen. Oh, and here I am go. Okay, again, I gotta make sure I just watch my gap down. So I didn't expect him to full on check up like that, and we are really lucky actually that we weren't destroyed by the field. This is what most people don't do. You see it in the cars, you see it, you know, in the NASCAR series. They just, they don't lift. Okay, so even though I'm doing, like, 102 laps, John is still 17 seconds back. I don't really have anything to worry about here. Got him coming up to two to go. So, I'll just stay behind you so he can't wreck me. Two more, let's go. It really sucks when you're a second when that happens. I'm sure Daryl holds a grudge. He probably thinks he could have won this race. Well, that was my engine there because I'm not paying attention. He was off the pace. I mean, just because he started in front doesn't mean he's going there. Thankfully, I got around him when I did, or everybody else would have caught us, and then that, oh man, and then that would have been an incident. The way he stopped there made me think that he was actually waiting for me. Alright, I have 18 seconds here, so, again, I just want to avoid him. Last lap. 
last lap. Keep my car on the track. And the other thing this is doing is probably really up in his ego. guys for watching. Take a look at the stuff. All right. And Vanilla Ice is in our pit giving everybody high fives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. All right. So here's the results. Came in first, it looks like. Uh, and Brian ended up probably in eight, either eighth or ninth, depending on how that shakes out at the line. Tough break for him, but good race overall and really enjoyed it with everyone. So thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.